So this piece is called Boombox Love, and it is my contribution to Everything Remains Raw, the hip-hop exhibit at the McMichael Gallery. And I really just wanted to, I just was thinking of music and what it means to me and um, hip-hop and graffiti and creating this alleyway space. Um, and so what came to mind was the boombox. Definitely just thinking of like, you know, you could almost like see the music coming out of, out of this piece. Um, so I wanted to show love, um, thinking of old school mixtapes and dances, events, but also just the feeling of freedom that you can get from expressing yourself um, through music and how that can connect you to yourself and to each other. So um, first I created the sketch and then once approved <laughs> um, for continuity. Um, so then I had to assemble the panels outside. I've got an outdoor space, which is amazing. And, um, you know, I put some heaters out there, put some wind block extra tarps because <laughs> it's winter. And I used uh, Montana water paint, which you have to use in either higher than eight degrees, which it kind of wasn't because it's winter, um, but I tried on my best on warm days. And then um, it just seemed to be like lacking, like this, the paint, it just doesn't come out how you would expect. I think the water paint is meant for the summertime. Um, so I took out my trusty Montana gold spray paint, which is acrylic um, enamel, and it did a better job and just made everything more rich. And um, so then um, it got really cold, so I, it got put into storage until I could bring it inside um, and clamp it together, which that's how it is behind me. And so I did some of the details with some Liquitex markers, the acrylic markers, keeping it real. <laughs> I haven't actually touched it with a brush, which I've really been itching to do because, I mean, some of my favorite artwork is created with oil on canvas and brushes. But um, with this, I just wanted to show the rawness of the spray paint because this is what you can do with it. Um, so yeah, it's just the angle that you spray it at. So then, then the mist is going to go one way. And the lighter you press, you know, the less that will come out. And also going really fast, then less will come out. So and it's like going over and over and then, like you can make mistakes, but then you just go back into it. So it's a lot of layers that you're seeing here. <laughs>